everyone and welcome back to Crewe where we will be visiting the hotel over there to the left which is the Royal Hotel now I had a concerned local message me last night saying he thought that the migrants were in this hotel and when I actually googled and took a look the hotel is temporary closed now we've just actually been round the back of the hotel in the car and it looked like migrants outside the back smoking to me but we'll just go and confirm this Here we are guys at Royal Hotel in Crewe. On Nanwich Road. So that's the hotel reception which we won't try and go in there. We'll just go have a look around the back um, and just see what we've just seen. Hmm, so it was open in December. Oops, a little child there. <laughs> Actually, it is British Transport Police. So, yeah. Hello. Hello, is this, this hotel... Is this... Oh. Is that hotel? Oh, okay, thank you. We just... Is this hotel not open? Is this hotel not open? Turkish. Turkish. All right, are you staying here? Home office. Sorry? Home office. All right, okay. How long has, how long has it been closed to the public? You're not sure. It's all right, I'll go around to the reception at the front. Thank you. Are you staying here? Home office is just going to me. Home office. No English. It's madness, guys. I never... I've just seen a little kid in here and I don't like to set pictures of children. But you know what? Even the Afghan refugees, I'm told, have got lots of money. And why are they just bloody bleeding us dry? Here we go, guys. <laughs> We're going nowhere, are we? Oh, wait a minute. There's a dog. There's a bell here. Madness, guys, isn't it? Absolute madness. Someone's coming to the door. <clears throat> Thank you, Steve. Thanks, everyone, that's tuning in. I thought we'd got someone coming to the door, but... Hmm. No, me too. Can't even see in the windows, because they've... Um, the whole thing's all up on the windows, but we've had confirmation, haven't we, from the... The lad round the back, let's uh, go take another look. So, yep, yeah, it looks like another hotel, guys. A Royal Hotel in Crewe. It's close to the public and has people from Turkey residing in there. And he tells me. He cannot speak English, but he can tell me home office. So, another hotel there, guys, taken over. So, look around the back. Okay. 
Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Do do you do you work at this hotel here, the Royal? Yeah. How long has it been closed to the public? Uh, for approximately more, more than two weeks, uh, two months now. Two months. Yeah, November. Uh, and who who's it housing? Who who's it housing? Who is? Who's it housing by the Home Office? Yeah, by the Home Office. But who? What sort of people? Uh, I don't know because it's a Home Office people who takes them. We deal with the Home Office. We are not dealing with the who are staying. So, so do you do you own this hotel? I'm the head of management. Here. Yeah. So, can I just ask you? Did can I this call just for a yeah, yeah. Hello. I'm sorry, but you can hold. Uh, can you please? Who's the owner? Let's see whether he asked them or they asked him, guys. To bring us because the doors are closed because the renovation is on. Doors are closed because renovations on. No, you've got migrants on. So they're telling workmen that the renovations on because they're closed, they've been closed two months. Alright. Alright, thank you. Very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can call on this number where we on which we are speaking right now. You can call on this number. Looks like there's renovations done down there. Can you see guys at the end? Can I just ask you one question, please? Can I ask you one question? Yes. You, you know, you know, as as a, a hotel manager, do you ask for these people to come to your hotel, and or do the government are you just send are you, them? Are you from the council? Am I from? No, no, no. I'm I, I'm just a reporter. Sorry. I am just a reporter, yes. and we we need to know whether the, the home office Sorry, are making you. No, are they making you take people, or are you are you choosing to take these? these migrants. Could you answer that question, sir, please, if you own this hotel? I'm not the owner, sorry, ma'am. You just said that you was the owner. Damn, that girl stopped him from talking to me. Bloody hell. Mmm. That girl stopped him from talking to me. She come out at back. So yeah, that's how secretive it is, guys. It's so wrong, so, so wrong. Look, the things hung out of these windows. Did you see all them in the Metropole yeah, Hotel? Yeah. That they'd got um, bags hung out of the oh, window. The Someone told me that um, they thought it was how the, the hang the halal meat or something from there. So, yeah, people in crew, we've confirmed that you've had another hotel taken over. There's another one just down the road here that we'll be paying another visit to. We visited about a year ago um, and it was um, a brummy security guard that was actually really funny with us. He reported us to YouTube for privacy. And I didn't know how to blur faces then, so oh, unfortunately we had that one taken down, so we're gonna pop along to that one too. So yeah, well, everyone is absolutely just being invaded by by all these migrants, economic migrants, illegal immigrants, whatever you want to call them. You know, they're coming from a safe country in France. Why are they coming over to our country? They're coming because they know that they're gonna get the freebies, the benefits. I know Martin, 500, didn't they? Yeah, landed at the weekend. So I troll the papers looking, but Please, people, send me private messages if you've got any new hotels because, yeah, they're going somewhere, aren't they? I was supposed to be going to a, a holiday park today, but it's probably going to have to be next week now. We're supposed to be having our good friend Active Patriot with us, but unfortunately, I couldn't get a train today out of Grimsby. No doubt they're striking again like everyone else. So, yeah, so there we go, guys the Royal Hotel in Crew. I don't I wouldn't like to say what sort of migrants it's it's housing because that guy was from Turkey there was a little boy in there and I always seem to think that they're the Afghan hotels when there's children in there but I really don't know today but that hotel is not open to the public guys we can't get a room in there and they've been in for two months Thank you everyone, please like, share this and subscribe to my channel. Please, please, we need to keep opening people's eyes 
We've got a demonstration on Saturday and it's at the Britannia Hotel in Winmore, Leeds. It's at 2 p.m. If you look at my social media, I've got details of the buses that go from the train station if people are coming in by train. But yeah, we need to make this a big one, guys. We need to tell our government that we've had enough. We've all had enough. We need to put our feet on the streets and say we want our country back and stop the boats. Thanks, guys. I'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes. Bye.